I think, I mean, in some weird way, it would that having that kind of power would make you crazy. And it would make it so that you, psychologically, it would make you, I mean, just like psychologically starving you to death would demoralize you and make you not even want to fight and make you easier to control and boss around and make them crazy, but it also make the people who are abusing the other people, and even the Germans who are totally healthy physically, crazy, and actually enjoy um, having that absolute power and killing people and everything. And, um, you know, if they didn't really like the Jews to begin with, they, it just kind of was like a snowball effect, and they just took advantage and went crazy and um, um, just killed. And... Um, so, like, how can you learn from that and today? How would you how would you avoid being in that situation again? I would think that I would say that um, don't allow don't give people absolute power in anything. Don't just allow people to do like my whole mission statement for my life is to just let people and encourage people to say whatever they want. Um, and if you let people say and do whatever they want. You just have faith and they'll end up, you know, because they're not desperate financially, um, they'll end up being good people. You don't have to worry about, you know, forcing them to be good people. You allow them to be good people. Um, forcing and, um, and using fear to make somebody do what you think is right for them is not the right way to go about things because it'll make them crazy and then it'll make them abuse other people um, so as far as applying that to real life like I have a whole idea about how to change the educational system I think they should make all teachers strip all teachers K through 12 college everybody all teachers of any power to um, not fail or to give any kind of a negative grade or or fail any student ever like the student could go in the classroom and throw um, t rotten tomatoes at the teacher and the teacher couldn't do a goddamn thing about it. And, um, you know, because these days a teacher can fail a student out and can, um, well, I guess can like humiliate them, but they can only do that as, as far as like, you know, or else I'm going to get put you into suspension or expel you or give you a bad grade. I think they should just take all power away from teachers. And people might go, oh, but then the kids will go crazy. And you have no faith in people then, in humanity. Human they won't go crazy. You just you treat them with respect and they'll treat you with respect. And then it becomes a meritocracy. People, people can get sifted through the hierarchy of the whole, because there's always going to be a hierarchy, by uh, how, how well they do in the tests. And how well they do in, um, in like, you know, anonymous voting of peer review of, of all of their presentations or whatever. But, um, but when, you make pe when, you, when you make it so that people have to, um, have to be dishonest and um, destructful of other people and bad just to survive, then they will, you know. Like in South America, people have to lie in order to survive. You know, like, do you have a tattoo? Oh, no, 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 no tattoo. No, 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 you know. And then they hide their tattoo. You know. It's like, or your religion, you know. Are you Jew? Oh, no, 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 Christian, you know. Because if you say you're Jew, you're dead. So, um, um, you know, like, do you want to, do you think that with killing these Jews is bad? Oh, no, 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 you know. People can't, you put and still fear in people. And it's shown by Auschwitz that you can get away with a whole lot of crazy, ev evil actions um, by by um, making it by you know by if if you if you create like an us versus them kind of a situation. Um, there are probably lots of Germans who were who were really. Uh, and even prison guards and Polish prison guards and people who were abusing other people who, you know, people who were maintaining that whole 90,000 um, inmates 
wouldn't be hard, wouldn't, could get away easily if they all joined together and they could just storm the gates and storm the guards, you know, 90,000 to 6,000, but, um, but, the, but they had people controlling other people below them who controlled other people below them and the lowest of the controllees and even the ones above them, if they strayed from their position at all, they just get replaced and killed so that you, you can keep people in place that way. And that, but that's how it is in real life. Like with teachers, you'd have the, you know, the school board tell this teacher what to do, tell this teacher what, tell, you know, tell the principal what to do, tell this teacher what to do, and if this teacher doesn't use the curriculum, then they're gone. And then, so there's no free, free thinking, and you know, then that, of course the teacher tells the kids what to think and do, and if they don't, you know, show up at this time, or take the test on this day, or, um, or take this class on this semester and that class on that semester or you know even look at the teacher wrong or grow your hair out then you're then you fail and you'll never get to the next level and you won't get educated and you don't have a hope and you know making money or whatever I mean well it affected me personally because I got actually kicked out official reason because um, I like one of my capital one of the titles of one of my chapters was wrong, or it was like supposed to be the title of another chapter on my final paper. I mean, it was just completely insane. So anyways, just take power away from people, from, take power, power away from somebody who can, make, make it so somebody can't fuck somebody else over. I'm a little bit drunk. And, uh, and put all the power in the hands of of the people in the very bottom to control their own destinies um, because uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely and you can make a lot of otherwise normal people um, work in, some, in, in a greatly oiled organized mechanism and kill a whole bunch of people that way. Um, Another like tool that they had is, is um, they had a brothel where they would get some prisoner women to be the um, hoes, and it was a good job for them because they were fed, so they were willingly hoes, and then they get the other prison guards because they had to send a bunch of the Germans off to fight towards the end of the world war. So then they had to use like um, you know poles and maybe even Jews to guard other Jews. Um, and they would reward them by, you know, well, then you get to go and do see the woman in the brothel, you know. And it's been like four years since they, like, touched a woman, you know, or whatever. So they didn't want to lose that position. So they, so they did what they did, and they were brutal, you know, and that's how they trained them. It's like training a dog to uh, a pit bull to kill another pit bull, you know. And you can do that with humans. So... Um, and I mean, they, and also that they were looking at Jews like they weren't even human. I mean, they showed us like eight tons of hair that I saw in the thing. And then next to that, they had this rug and they had this huge thriving textile factory because that was only like 5% of the hair that they got of what we saw, the eight tons. And then they had this like, this rug, this rug that was made out of human hair. And you could see like the human hair coming out of the end of it. Um... Yeah, and just treating them like animals, but actually getting off on on, on uh, torturing them um, for no reason. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't helping their war effort. They were just like torturing. So it was. Uh, it's uh, definitely makes you think um, about how it happened and what you can do to stop it. But I mean, it did happen. So, I'm, but also I'm thinking, say it really quickly because I'm running out of time. Um, I'm thinking. Maybe in, a, in the long run, you know, maybe from the spirit world, those Jews actually sacrifice themselves collectively so that they could use that example to show us that it is possible for humans to be that evil so that we actually think seriously what we can do to avoid that and take the proper steps so that we can arrive at a peaceful world quicker. By taking that stuff seriously and not letting all of these power, you know, mechanisms get out of hand 
and by, by looking at Auschwitz and going, okay, yeah, we don't want that, let's, or anything like that, let's do whatever we can to avoid the stuff that they, you know, the systems that they use to, to have that. Okay, so I'm out of time.